Hey guys, I'm Jared Bronson, and today I'll be informing you on a condition called Trimothy Laminuria. This is a condition that is better known as fish odor syndrome, and it's affected Kelly Fido White for years. The 36 year old claims that the condition caused her to smell like a mix of fish and onion, and because of it, she endured years of bullying from kids at school and led her to have social anxiety. There was a point that she would take up to four showers a day, change her uniform twice a day, and use entire cans of deodorant to mask the smell. She currently works as a radiographer at the Royal Oldham Hospital, and due to the amount of complaints she's received, she she was forced to work the night shift because of her smell. This way she doesn't have to interact with as many people. Since she started working the night shift, she became more open about her condition and has befriended some of her co-workers who have accepted her the way she is. Faisal Bashir works alongside Kelly as a CT slash MR radiographer. He said you could trace Kelly's smell up the corridor. It's quite a strong distinct smell you get from Kelly. When Kelly told me about her condition, I didn't take it in for some reason and so I've always called it fishiatitis. I've had many complaints about Kelly's smell to me and from a variety of staff in the department. It's hard when you get these complaints. as Kelly Kelly is a good friend, but working with Kelly for two years as my night buddy means we have a good communication where I could tell her to go and freshen up. Asha Feroz is another colleague who works with Kelly as a diagnostic radiographer. She said certain people do make comments. It was upsetting how people were dealing with it, and at that point, Kelly wasn't herself. I have gotten used to the smell, so it doesn't affect my work at all. It took Kelly years to figure out what would actually cause the smell, but now that she's figured it out, she feels it's her duty to educate people about it. She told the Daily Mail from watching documentaries, things started to fall into place, and it sounded like it could be me when. And someone said it's not just a fish odor. And ultimately, I ended up being tested and it came back positive. Besides the smell itself, there are very few other symptoms at all. And of course, you have the side effects of anxiety, social isolation. It's hard. I am more chilled about it now. I can't say that if somebody complains tomorrow, I wouldn't find it a little bit cutting. But I deal with it by educating that person now. Kelly's husband, Michael, says he too has gotten used to the smell and at times it affects him, but he doesn't say anything to Kelly because he doesn't want to upset her. Which is nice, but. He fully just put her on blast with the Daily Mail, so like how true could that be? Because he fully just told like hundreds of thousands of people that the smell bothers him. Awkward. He went on to say, when we were living together at the start, I did notice it, but it wasn't straight away when we first started seeing each other. It was never a problem. I don't believe she tried to hide it either. Kelly wasn't that confident when we first met, and I think the best way of me helping her with the condition is just to be supportive about the condition. If that was me living with the condition, I think I would struggle to do as much as Kelly does. Now she currently uses a sensitive body wash for her skin and takes regular medication to enhance her body's ability to break down coline. She said there is no magic pill that you could take to make it better. I personally take a cocktail of medications. One of the things the doctors turn around and say to you is, if it smells going in, it's going to smell going out. So things like fish and seafood are major triggers. Well, there you have it. Here's to hoping Kelly can live with this condition happily the rest of her life. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but now I gotta read some comments. Yeah. So in the video we did about the Samsung S8 update, I think that was the phone. Nate Vlog said, the S7 didn't have the issue, it was the Note 7 and it didn't explode, it caught fire. Bro, I was being so sarcastic that whole video. I'm sorry if I said the S7 blew up, not the Note 7, and I'm sorry if I said it caught on fire, it didn't explode. At the end of the day, it was a Samsung phone, there's a 7 in the name of the phone, and it exploded. I was joking around. You obviously didn't catch on to the joke, so now I have to reply to your comment in this video. I also ask you guys, if you choose Samsung or Apple, you guys made it very clear that Samsung was the winner. We're gonna show all your comments. Literally not one of you said that you guys like Apple more than Samsung. I'm personally an Apple guy. I haven't really tried much of a Samsung. I've had Apple phones for like the past seven or eight years, so I'm kind of used to that. And I just don't like change. I think Apple's very easy to use. They have their fair share of issues, but I mean, the iPhone 7s, like the S7, doesn't catch on fire. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. My name's Jared. Let me know your thoughts, comments down below. I'll see you guys soon.